Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I will be changing the oil on our 2002 Hyundai Santa Fe. This has the 2.4 liter engine. So here are a few things that will make changing the oil a lot easier. You have your funnel, your oil filter wrench, your 17 millimeter wrench, your oil filter, and your engine oil. Um, a couple other things that will make it easier. Uh, ramps, your jack stands, the uh, catch pan, and a creeper. All of those will definitely make this go very smoothly. Uh, first thing you'll want to do once it's up in the air, come over here and pull your dipstick out. Just creates a little bit of a breather hole there. And then you can remove your, your oil filling cap. Um, what I do with this so that it does not get forgotten um, is I put it right where the hood latch is. I'd much rather break this cap than to forget to put the oil cap back on the engine. Okay, so starting from the passenger side of the vehicle, you will go under once it's up in the air. Here's the oil pan. And right on the other side of the oil pan here, you will find your drain. Um, in order to release this, it's righty tighty lefty loosey. And you'll be using a 17 millimeter wrench unless it has been retapped to a different size. Once you get it pretty loose, Use your fingers at the end and do a quick pull. So we are still on the passenger side of the vehicle. If you slide under this way, right between the tire here and the frame, if you come right out, follow this little, this panel here, there's an oil filter right here. You may be able to loosen it by hand. If not, here's an oil filter wrench. You just grab it on there and same goes for this it's righty tighty lefty loosey get it loose slide your oil pan over and then you just move it slowly there it'll have some oil come out pretty quick and then it sort of stops so and there we have it so now we are going to just let that drain for a couple minutes just so all the drips can get out uh, make sure you have a some sort of rag handy so that you can wipe your hands off or wipe the frame down when you're done and uh, we will let this drip okay so we put our drain plug back in and when doing this you just want to do righty tighty so i'm pushing it toward the driver's side of the vehicle now I'm try not to over tighten it too much because you could strip it out um, they're pretty strong so it wouldn't be easy to do in most cases but just a good precautionary measure So here's a cool trick when checking your engine oil. Um, if you look at a tape measure and then compare your dipstick, one inch on the tape measure is about one full quart of oil. So a quarter inch would be about a quarter quart, half inch would be about a half quart. Here, pull it out. The car is at an incline right now, so you can see that the engine oil is actually, it's right on spot. Um, and I have not started the vehicle yet, so that will actually lower just a tiny bit um, because no oil should be in the oil filter yet. Once the vehicle started, it will pressurize and then engine oil will go into that filter. So now I will show you the process of checking everything. If you have added your engine oil, uh, make sure your oil cap is reinstalled and that your dipstick is installed. Another thing you can do is you can peek down here and make sure oil is not dripping out. If it is dripping out, it means you forgot to tighten your plug or there's another issue. For now we will do the interior test. And what we are looking for here is your engine oil light, which is right here. It may stay on for a moment after you start the vehicle. Um, we want to let the vehicle run until that shuts off unless it seems like it's more than just a few seconds, then you might want to sh shut it off and go make sure fluid's not leaking out out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it and we'll wait for that light to turn off. All right, it turned off very quickly. Once you have the vehicle to level ground, you will recheck the engine oil and you will want to see the level right between those two dots on the dipstick and use the inch as a guide when adding oil. It is always a little bit better to have a little less oil than too much 
if you do pass that, I would suggest draining some of the oil out. 